be sure to pump up the brake okay now we go on We have a new front sprocket. It's from GT Sprockets. Where I got my scissors? Over here. Okay. Yep. Goes on like this. This is bone dry. I really don't like that. See, already starting to rust. Hmm, not good. At least not for me. I'm gonna put anti seize bell ray to this axle over here. Those lines not on the thread okay okay yes then we take the new sprocket and give this baby a good Whoop. Especially all the way in. Mm. So now it don't it don't wrap. It always has apparently. Okay. See? Yes. Okay. Yes. See, it has a tiny bit of play, and in time, I'm sure. Ruin. One more to get like this. Shove it on again. So, no, no. Yes. Yes. Okay. Now. This one, this blocking device, I'm then I'm gonna place this one over those. And then, guys, watch, it's all rusted. Hmm. Okay. Yep. I'm going to screw it just like this so I know that I still have to torque it. See? Old grease. <laughs> Lightning. Oh, that side too. Yep. Okay. Nice. Very nice. Over here, it looks good. My friend told he cleaned this already a bit. So, it's a bit. Oh. 
this looks good. Whoa. So, hmm, nice. Guys, we have this wonderful DID chain Pro Street, that's good, with direct energy transfer. Yeah, that's what we want. A lot of energy transfer. It's a 525VX VX3, which is uh, good, I think. Huh? Now, let's have fun. Yes. Whoa. Gold, pure gold. Mm, well, maybe over there. Then I'm going to show you a small trick. I always like to do. Maybe kijk je dat spot. Yes. grease and grime onto that yeah, slider and as long as you and um, if you haven't tensioned your chain it slides through that grime and uh, I don't like that sorry here we got the chain the chain gang Roll it over onto your front chain uh, sprocket. Pop, pop. Okay. Yes. Then. Underneath here. Pop, pop, pop. Yes. Okay, now guys, I'm going to show you a trick, a small trick, have a tie wrap, put it over here, Up. then another one on the other end of your chain, over here, because I want to know if my chain isn't too long, or too short, no, too short, no. But too long. It's... Whoa. <laughs> Bit more. We have to adjust it. Maybe can I get three? Okay, three on that side, a bit more on this side. Okay. Yep. Good for now. The next thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna get this. Here we got the link. 
cut it open. In there are the X rings, grease, and the golden link. I'm gonna do first. We have this link. Cut this open just a tiny bit over there. Then around the link up oh. and over there up oh. yes cut open these be careful not to cut your o ring your uh, x rings Now, push it in, hop, 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 nicely in place, and his brother too, over there, okay, yes, then crease it on top, just a bit. Not a bit, but okay. Hope, see, you have more than enough grease and the pins, of course. Give the pin also a good loop. Then this one, okay. Okay, this one, yes, now, yes, perfect, mm, that's better than one. Two, then gonna take that grease, grease it all around that pin. Up. Yes, this one too. So. Okay. Then we put two X rings nicely in the middle. Well, this is not in the middle, old mechanic. So, and this one. Okay, then the rest of our grease. Oh. Two. We have more than enough. Up. I'm sure it's everywhere. Okay, now just give it a flutter over there to up and there. Now we go on. We take my tool and I put in the press plate. This one. Okay, like this. Yep. Now, guys, take my Vinny caliper. Okay. On to zero. Yep. First, we're gonna measure a link over here, and that's a 
hop. 19.14. So we're gonna press this plate on. Okay, and it needs to be 19.14. I think I have to do it over here. Works better for me. So we have my tool. Carefully place it onto that golden thing link then I'm gonna carefully start pushing the plate on checking it okay Okay. Okay. Then back. There it comes. Yes. And over there. Okay. Then carefully starts to push it. Okay. Okay, something like that. Again. Yes, I feel it's in those holes. Okay, Up. then start measuring. Need it to be nineteen a point. More, just a tiny bit. Actually, it's very easy. So, we need a tiny bit. Now it's on. Let's feel. Yep. Okay, let's see. It's now on 19.34, so it needs a tiny bit more, but just a tiny bit. Yep, perfectly. Now, guys, this is a 525 VX3 and it needs to be this one flared to in between 5.7 and 6. And we need the tool with the groove. See, this has a groove. Now, very easy. I'm going to place it in my tool. This one I can screw out. Okay, this one out. Then this one out. I made that. So it fit also in this in this one. I have to make make it myself. And it works perfect. Ok. 
Okay. Hop. Yes. Screw it in. And on this side, we need this one. Otherwise, we should push that pin out through. We don't want that to happen. Hopefully you can see it. Not sure. Maybe wiggle it until you're sure that it's into that. Yeah, what is it? <laughs> Pin. And now we start to push it. Oh. like this one out and hold it with this one like, like this a cut more oh, force so I'm not that strong now let's see where it is oh. It's now, no, no, <laughs> terrible light, godverdomme, I need to put the light out, boys, sorry, it's now at 5.6, uh, I like to give it a tiny bit more, okay, It's now on 5.8 almost which is within spec now we're gonna do this one okay Just a bit more, like this. Okay. No, not by far. Not by far. I'm out. Hmm. No. Nope. Five point fifty-nine. So needs a bit better. Already I could see it actually. Pop. Dee, 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 dee. Okay. And just this. Let's see where it is now. Point. No, oh, wait a minute. See? Perfect. This one. Seven nine. Job done. 